Hey there everyone, this is Raymond, again talking about squeaky.com. That's S-Q-E-E-Q-E-E.com. For those of you who don't know what Squeaky is, or if you just want to know a little bit more, Squeaky, they're the ones that are bringing you social net worthing, not social networking. So it allows you to actually make money on their website, opposed to other sites that you've had for weeks, months, years, made absolutely no money on. With Squeaky, every time you click something, if you like something, if you post something, anything you do, you're earning money while doing it. So it's really cool, it's social net worthing. Go ahead and check out Squeaky, you guys. Uh, if you don't believe me, you can, you can make an account and find out for yourself how cool and innovative it is. And in addition to that, they actually bring you a lot of different stuff from around the web. All of the different features and all of the, the cool stuff that other sites may have or, or may claim to do. Squeaky does them cooler, better, newer, and they do everything in one place. You don't need all the different websites for, for what you need to do. Squeaky does them all at once. So go on squeaky.com, you guys. Check it out. Make an account. Find out for yourself what I'm talking about. And if you've seen some of my other videos, you've seen that I've made uh, kind of a how-to video, uh, or, or I've been talking about different ways to utilize the features on Squeaky. Today I'm going to be talking about stock photos, which is one of the features on the Squeaky platform. It allows you to buy or sell photos that you may have if you are a business or even for personal use if you need a stock photo uh, for whatever the case be, maybe for, for your own website, maybe for a, a logo or something like that, or just for your own personal use. Maybe you're, you're making a, a you're, you're really into Photoshop or something and you need a a, a base jumping off point you can come to squeaky you can buy or sell stock photos now squeaky they actually pay ten dollars flat fee if you want to sell squeaky one of your photos and uh, uh, it's approved and authorized you actually get a quick ten bucks just like that so there are tons of different ways to make money on squeaky.com the stock photos is one of them so let me actually show you guys what I'm talking about. It's really easy. It's really quick. Uh, in a nutshell, you just upload your, your photos if you want to sell it. You put a description to it. You say how much you're willing to sell it for. I know Squeaky, uh, as far as the, uh, the fees, it depends on how big or the, the size of the photo. So I'll go through that process with you guys really quick and hopefully you'll learn something. If you want to hold on one second, I'll turn the camera around. Let me see if I can zoom in really quick, make it much easier to see and process. Okay, this is my squeaky site. Like always, I always show you guys my site, my homepage and everything. For the stock photos, you're gonna drop down to the menu to marketplace, stock photos, and just like always, that little eye there, that little info button, you can click it to the right of the stock photo name. Oops, let me go back down there and do it again. It just gives you a brief description of what the stock photos is, what it does. It tells you about the fees. Uh, it says you can search and buy stock photos for your own personal or professional use. The fees are dependent on size. Squeaky also pays $10 for every photo you would like to sell as a stock photo on the Squeaky platform. So. Pretty much what I just talked about. If you want to come back and, and see, uh, maybe you forgot and you want to check it out yourself, you can click that little I next to the stock photo name and it'll pop up and you can read that now. Let me click on the stock photos. It brings you to all of these different pictures that people have uploaded to the site. Uh, some of them, I, I believe Squeaky might have uploaded some basic stock photos just for ideas for other people and then other users on the site have uploaded their own. Uh, here's some, you can see different photos, just I'll click through a little bit so you can get an idea of what kind of things there are to choose from. So it's just a bunch of random, uh, uh, or I shouldn't say random, but just a, a bunch of photos that uh, if you like them and you want to use them for something, let me go back to the front, uh, let me see, or actually I'll just, maybe I'll just use this one, it looks like a, like a wallpaper or something. Uh, you click on it. It gives you all of the info for that photo. See this one just just like a, a nice creek or something. Maybe you want to use it for a, a wallpaper or you want to use it for a, a, your own personal use or business, uh, something for your website or something. You can see what it is here. It gives you the option to 
to repost it to your website or I'm sorry to your wall like everything else on squeaky you can always repost it right there so you can see it all your your other buddies and friends can see it and uh, you can pretty much just share what you're looking at on your wall through that repost option right here now to the right are the different options I believe some of them are free on squeaky some of the the stock photos and the others are used for for credits if you see here the small size photo there's a medium sized photo there's a large size photo and to the right of that the corresponding credits one two three dollars uh, so it, it's relatively cheap actually uh, opposed to the other sites out there that may charge an arm and a leg for a stock photo squeaky I mean it is up to the the user but I, I, I do know squeaky they normally keep them relatively cheap and inexpensive inexpensive so you the user have no problem getting what you need on the site now there are two options uh, let's say you like this photo and and you might want it to, to keep and you might want it for yourself you can purchase it now which is down here add to cart you'll add it to your cart and later on you'll purchase it or if you aren't too sure maybe you want to check some stuff out first maybe you want to check out your other options and see if there's something out else out there that you might want instead but you want to keep tabs on it up here at the top is the add to favorites button so you can add it to your favorites which goes right down here you can add it to your favorites and later on you can check it out so you don't have to sort and sift through all of the different things on the the stock photo option now when you scroll down it gives you the the brief detail of the the, the photo it says who is the person who uploaded it to the right of their name you can click on their portfolio see the other things that they've uploaded let's click that now let's see if there's anything else that they've shared with the squeaky site on the the stock photos yes yeah, see uh, this person added a lot of different photos to squeaky you can see there a bunch of different things now going back the collection here under that just a genre I guess you can say that the the category there are two people who have downloaded it a bunch of people have viewed it it gives you all the different info and of course right here is if you want to push it to other sites you can do so right there with any of those options any of those clickable buttons and just like all the other features down below are all the comments uh, this one says it's a great photo it's a nice pic people are talking about it you can comment on it and maybe give suggestions for future pics or whatever you want to do you can do it that way as well now going back to all photos at the very top let's say if you maybe if you want to do a little more than just uh, uh, sort through each individual picture you can always filter through the categories this way right on top it gives you the different things like animals beach business uh, food decorations uh, people tons of different things travel scenic all the different things that you might want to sort and sift through you can do it there now by the date or downloads is another option that you have if you want to choose date you can sort pretty much the the newest uploaded to the latest uploaded the the one below it downloads is if you want to search through the amount of times pretty much a, a popular uh, popularity contest here it's it, it'll sort through the the most downloaded items to the least or vice versa to the right of that is the keyword which is your basic search bar if you know exactly what you're looking for you can type it in here at the keyword press search it'll come up and, and you'll be able to do it that way which makes it really easy and really simple now to make things quick I see down here or I'm sorry not down here to the left over here are a bunch of different options the I'm gonna skip upload photos because I'm gonna take some time and, and go over that with you guys so below that is my photos if you were to click my photos it takes you to any any photos that you have uploaded yourself I haven't done that but if you did it would be right down here in this blank area the same with sold photos and the same with the shopping cart if you click the shopping cart it takes you to anything in your cart which will allow you to purchase it or take it out of your shopping cart if you decide later that maybe it's not the right thing for you the same thing for purchase photos and the same thing for your favorites anything that you may favorite or purchase will be in those two items or, or those two options now 
jumping in and hopping back up to upload photos, this is where if you have a photo that you want to share and you want to con contribute to the stock photo feature on squeaky.com, you'll go to upload photos. It'll give you this menu and, and this uh, uh, area to upload it put your put your detailed description the title how much you want to charge whatever you might want to do so let me do that with you guys right now just a, a quick one just to go over some things like i spoke on earlier you have the option to select a category this the first one is animals let's say you just have a picture of your dog or something that you like and you think maybe other people might also like it you can click animals if it's a picture of your dog maybe if you're taking a picture of the sunset at the beach you can click the beach or there's tons of different categories for you to choose from. To the right of that is where you can be a little creative. You can put your title. If you know a title in mind, you can type it in there. If you want to just make it a brief description of what it is, if you think you have a nice quirky title, you can add it there. And below is a, a brief description. I think for the photo, there probably won't be that long of a description. Uh, maybe just describe this is a, a day at the beach or maybe this is my dog named whatever the dog's name is or, or uh, whatever you think might catch someone's eye, you can write that down here in the description. And of course at the top you have tons of different options as far as the, the font, bold, uh, italicized, underlined, all that kind of stuff you can do there. Down below these three options are the keywords, the meta title, the meta description, pretty much just different things like I said before that'll catch your viewers eyes. The keywords you can just say uh, I mean, if we were talking about a photo about maybe your dog, you can put dog, puppy, uh, at the beach, whatever you want to do for any of these three things. Now, here is where you select the file to actually upload to Squeaky. There you go. That's where you select the file. It'll go to your desktop or it'll go to your downloads or, or whatever uh, spot in your computer that you'll find your photo or image and you'll select it and it'll go there. Now if you've seen my other features videos you've heard me talk about the option for squeaky bucks or US dollars. This here gives you the option again squeaky bucks of course is what you earn on squeaky every time you click something every time you like something if you post a photo if you post a news article you always earn squeaky bucks and if you if you want to accept that as a, a, a currency, you can have that option to do regular US dollars, squeaky bucks, or both. And that's always an option for a squeaky feature, which makes it really cool and really innovative. Now, the last thing is the price. You have these options. If you want it, it uh, I'm sorry, if you have three different sizes for this photo, small, medium, large, you can differentiate the three by price. You can charge, uh, the one that we looked at earlier was one, two, three dollars. You can do two, four, six. You can make them all the same if you wish. Whatever you want to do as far as the price, I can't tell you what to do there, but it's completely up to you. Whatever you think may be feasible for you and the user who might want it, you can do it that way and, and select different options or select different prices at your discretion. Before you click create, you have to click that you are the owner of the photos. Make sure to read these terms of use before you clicking so before you do so. I'm sorry, so you are uh, aware of the the different things that you that the squeaky expects and and the the different things that you should do after that point. You click create and it goes up to my photos in here, and in addition to that, it goes to all photos, which allows everyone on Squeaky to see it. Hopefully, they like it. They'll buy it, they'll talk about it, and uh, you guys can take it from there. And like always, you can always find me on Squeaky, ask me any questions that you may have. If uh, anything I didn't cover in this video, make sure to, to write on my wall, maybe send me a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I will see you guys on Squeaky.